welcome along and welcome back to Hope Belleron. Uh, today, we're going to finish off the job that we were trying to get done at the end of the last video. Uh, we need to get all of the flour that's processed through our windmill. Uh, that needs to go down to our bakery and be uh, and delivered there, ready for it to... Uh, go into making bread or hopefully eventually cakes uh, and then we need to take the bread that we got down there i think we've got a crate or two of bread down there uh take that up to get that sold and do that uh we then have a couple whoops I'm at the wrong level uh we have a couple of um grass contracts to get done so we've got one silage contract and one tedding contract we have two voltra g series tractors that we can use for that so uh we're gonna go and grab them hopefully get that job through fairly quickly and yeah i think we're gonna end up with a fairly full trailer of flour here as well which is great because that is going to keep things uh running down at our breakery pretty well too so fairly action-packed fairly full day here on the farm and uh hopefully we will uh, get it all done last pallet of flour oh the ground just drops away there down into the uh windmill there we go. Um, but yeah, we've got 65 litres of flour left in our windmill. So uh, that will sit there really until we get another contract through. Um, oh God, I am... Yeah, Giant said at FarmCon on Saturday that the contract bug is going to get fixed, which I cannot wait for that. I started this uh, video today. I came in at 7, 7 a.m. This was full of harvesting contracts. And I just sat here and watched it and watched every little one just disappear until we're left with a single cultivating and a single weeding contract. So, yeah, I cannot wait until that bug gets fixed. Uh, hopefully, hopefully should be fixed with the next patch, which is... Uh, maybe a month away uh, release of the Vermeer DLC should uh, include the release of a patch so not long now until it's fixed but yeah it is the most annoying of bugs especially when you're running a start from scratch series uh, like I am on here it just causes you so many issues not to be able to do harvesting contracts in fact not being able to do 90 percent of the contracts that uh you should be able to do really cuts down your income considerably we are gonna go now and take this and head down to the bakery uh we'll drop all this flour off we've got nearly a full trailer full of flour which is fantastic six thousand liters and then we should be able to pick the bread up down there and get that loaded uh, into this and sold. There's no easy entrance really from our farm into the bakery. We have to come in this way. Wow, I thought we were only going to have a couple of pallets of bread. We've got a lot. Oh, we're going to have to sort of back this up and box up all of that. First, all of our flour into the bakery. Yeah, our bakery's been busy. So uh, we'll back up along here, rebox these up, and uh, and get them delivered to the farm shop. And yeah, make a good amount of money from them. So all loaded up, and we've got 5,000 litres of bread in here. That is absolutely brilliant. Only one place where we can sell them though that is up at the uh, farm shop over here and so we'll turn in and it's around the back here and there we go up and over and around how much is the five thousand liters we have in here going to be worth let's find out that is a lot of bread 
That's actually a big surprise amount of bread. 11,265 plus 70, uh, 675 pounds worth in environmental score as well. Uh, absolutely perfect. Uh, what a good start to the day. Now, I need to go and drop the boxes off this. And we're going to head down to the shop and see what we can do about getting the grass working stuff together and heading up to the fields that we need to mow uh, mow uh, ted in one case row bale and then in the other case wrap into silage so in order to do these contracts we need to pop down here grab our setup this is quite an array of equipment we've got here for two contracts let's drop that off there Right, so we actually have two track, two complete setups here. And the reason why I ended up getting two setups because it was negligible to do it. Uh, and we needed a tether for one job and we needed the uh, wrapper for the other job. So what I'm going to do is jump in this vulture here, I think. And we need to make sure that we get these two fields the right, right way around. Now, I think it's field two is the bigger contract, yes, than field seven. This is silage bales uh, versus the uh, hay bales on seven. Now, field two is up here and field seven is here. And yeah, you can see the size difference. So we're making silage bales on there and hay on there. Uh, what I want to do is see if we can't cut a field with one bay, uh, with one machine and then go round and uh, s while we're cutting the second, I uh, get uh, everything done on that first field. Now, oh no, we're going to need that. Perfect. Right. I want you to head up to the field. So let's select that set destination. And we're going to send this up to field two. I'm going to get both of these fields cut. And hopefully, yep, yeah, that's off. And this first field, we're going to need to get this windrows. So I'm going to grab one of the windrowers and follow up there with this i think we're gonna have to use i don't want to use two separate balers really uh the field that's gonna take yeah i think we want to get field two bailed before we bail oh no one is one is gonna be yeah one is gonna be hay and the other's gonna be grass so yeah it doesn't matter we're gonna have to to bale them separately anyway but i think we want to bale the grass on field two first and then bale the hay on field seven after that we are almost up to the field uh, i'm going to use the tractor that i'm in to ferry equipment up to here we can drop this off uh send it down i think we need to grab the tether to be honest um, we need to grab the wrapper and we need to grab a baler. So that hopefully should be doable. Let's bring this over here. Right. And then I'm going to drop this off the back. Yep. Like so. There we are. And then we'll spin this around. Send this down to the shop. And I should be told then uh, when this reaches it. So set destination. Come on, all the way over here. We will park you there like that. And that should now head off. There we go. And then that leaves us free to start this. Um, unfold all of this. And get to doing uh, the mowing of this field. So we have done mowing on this field before. I'm quite looking forward to being able to get more off here uh, because i think this will be absolutely perfect and let's switch on the rear one as well down it goes 
and then we can start getting a very nice amount of grass off here uh so yeah we are doing silage on this field and we are doing uh hay on field seven neither of them are particularly big fields so my hope is that we will get both of these cleared today let's see how far off the end we can go here uh, that's a fair old way so uh yeah i'll inform the rest of my uh cutting as to um how far extra and how much more we can get based on what just happened then because yeah look at that that's a good extra swath around this field we can grab so i'm getting a good extra width around the outside of this field uh that has been um a great extra perimeter and look at that and our other tractor has got down to the shop so let's pop down there and we'll start this up and we'll grab our next piece of kit that we're going to need up the top i think on this field that's going to be a baler but i very much want to grab this first uh, because we're going to want to go and tether the uh tether field seven before we do that right so let's now send this up to the side of field seven so that we can go and drop that off there and with that done we can head back up to our mowing two headlands done and uh yeah very happy with that 10 percent complete on this contract but that doesn't surprise me with a grass contract uh these tend to show uh completion up to 20 percent until you start uh delivering bales final row just to clear things up uh there's a little patch of grass off to my right but all in all that has got cut fairly quickly which is great news the grass fields that are available on this map are pretty small ones you kind of need to plant your own grass if you're gonna if you're gonna do anything of a, a large scale grass work here on hope Belleron. let's turn this back on uh unfold and unfold yep turn that on and uh, i'm gonna get that to overlap quite a bit as we cut into here nice and straight so we'll bring that in here and like that oh this was almost a perfect row almost a perfect cut but look at that tiny little slither we've got going down the middle of the field and that is both fields nicely done and cut oh no fold you up lift the front one and off there we go perfect I really do love these little G-Series Veltras. I've got one of these on the Old Stream Farm, and it, it just works great for all the grass work I do on there. It, it's just a... Li they're little powerhouses. They really are. Listed under small tractors, they are... Yeah, there we go. 84,000 for 110 horsepower. That's really great. Uh, and they go up to 145 horsepower. And that, 145 horsepower for just over 100,000. Yeah, absolutely brilliant little start from scratch tractor. Um, you wouldn't regret doing a start from scratch starting with one of these, I don't think. End of the tedding and we've covered this field really well. There we go, folding that up. So I'm going to go and stick this with the mower and we'll then head up to the top and start rowing up field two. And I want to just run around the edge of the field first, get a good headland around it. We've got enough space to turn around in general, so I'm not too worried about it. But uh, oh, this has quite a good reach on it as well. I like that we've got a one this size for this job and not a smaller one last little bit of this grass field 
Uh, fairly uneventful, but uh, worked pretty well. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Our uh, Baylor has made it. I can see it at the top end of the field, so that's good. Uh, let's take this one down to the hay field then. Uh, do a quick perimeter around it. I think this is basically going to complete most of the fields doing a perimeter around this. But uh, we'll give it a go. We'll see if we can pull some of this grass in from the edge. Yep, we can. Perfect. And then, um, yeah, that should be in a position where we can get this all baled. Can't remember exactly how much each bale holds, which is unfortunate. Um, I may have to look that up in a moment. Um, in fact, I might be able to pop back to my farm and have a look because uh, we do have bales straw bales down there still sitting there that we've not done anything with so i might check out what size they are and uh, and how much they have i've sent the other g series down to the shop to pick up the bale wrapper for this field once this is done uh, i have had a quick look down at the uh, at our main farm and had a look at how much each bale holds and i think uh the mid-sized ones so the 150s yeah i think they hold 5000 uh, i think it's six and a half thousand for the 1800s and uh for the 125s i think it's 4500 if i remember correctly we'll find out in a minute because i'm gonna go and bale some but before we do that, we need to find out how much, how many litres do we need to deliver? Uh, we need to deliver for the tether. Uh, ah, this is interesting. So 4K, 4K which is the small ones, uh, there's five of those need delivering for that. And nine for this one. So we want to do these smaller bales, I reckon um yeah i think it's gonna work out better although no uh no we can't wrap the, yes yeah we're gonna go with the small bales i know it'll take longer to deliver them but uh we will get more bales out ourselves these should be the four thousand kilogram bales which is no these are three and a halfs that's annoying right so we do need to up our size Let's uh, let's up the size, and I think these then must be the four thousand liters, and yeah, we definitely can't go any bigger than this. Uh, we so it's really in this baler eighteen hundred. That's five thousand five hundred. Uh, this is three thousand five hundred. Yeah, so there isn't a four thousand liter bale um what do we need to deliver then Sixteen thousand two hundred. uh for oh no thirty-three thousand uh eight hundred would be uh oh god my maths are gonna fail me here i think we want to do these ones uh 11 22 uh 33 okay 33,000 liters would be f six of these bales so that is what i want to do got 12 bales off this field so far i are we gonna get a 13th it's gonna be close i don't think it's quite gonna happen or oh, no 90 okay that is so close that there must be one or two little bits. There we go. Off here. So 13 bales. We know that we only need to deliver six of these in order to actually complete this contract. Um, so that's pretty huge. Uh, in fact, that's fantastic. I think, yep, I can see the other... Uh, Vultra just appearing at the top there. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go down. We're going to get the hay baled up. 
Um, and then we're going to come back up to this top field and get all of that uh, wrapped, ready for us to uh, go and drop off in a little bit. On here, I think what we want to do is have one of these big bales, uh, or one of these medium-sized medium bales, actually, uh, 1,500. Uh, yeah, sorry, uh, 150 centimeters. These are 550 liters. Oh, no, really? 600 of it. Okay, so this will do. So, okay, I think we want two of these then. Do two of these, and then I'm going to do a smaller bale instead. And uh, and yeah, we'll see how that adds up. So let's uh, we are all down and everything. Yeah, I want one more of these 150 centimeter bales, and we'll put this on. And then I think we only want uh, then it's like it's about 4,000, which should do it, and that should basically be three bales to deliver. Uh, that will uh, will finish this field off, which would be very very good. Right, dump that out, and then before we close it up again, change the bale size down to the one twenty five centimeters. Close up, and we want one one twenty five centimeter bale. We could have possibly got two one twenty fives out of uh, of here at the end. But yeah, there's not enough for a uh, a full one, unfortunately. I'd love to just empty that hay out and take it. Right, let's turn that off. Uh, we want to drop this off as well. So we have... Uh, we've got two bales for us off here. So nowhere near as much as we got with the silage. And I reckon that we probably want to get another... Uh, hay contract as soon as we can uh, help us to get some more hay bales in or alternatively uh, just uh, buy some more hay bales in uh, maybe sell a silage bale actually that's not a bad shout sell a silage bale and get uh, a couple more hay bales in right let's send this back down to the shop we need to pick up our collector bits so set destination going there. Uh, meanwhile, we're going to head back up the top and get started with the wrapping. Going to be able to wrap these up fairly quickly. I want to wrap this up quickly now because it is uh, quarter to seven in the evening. I had not realized that we'd gone quite so long. This is one of those episodes that, that has taken longer simply because of the amount of stuff we're doing. So I am, um, yeah, I'm quite pleased with this. This has worked well, um, but there's still a considerable amount of work to do uh, before we are done. Sun is beginning to set now. It is half past seven in the evening and we've only got this and one more bale to wrap. And the last bale we've got to wrap is actually the small one. So that's good. Let's drop that off load this up there we are and then that is uh this done i'm actually gonna leave this up here right and we'll drop that off there because that's a little bit of a weird one and leave it well out of the uh, way of the field We'll drop this off here and I'm going to send this tractor back down to the shop um, because I've managed to get one of the loader bits up here. Um, but I, because I didn't do it early enough with the other equipment, uh, we still got one down at the shop. So we'll send this down to the shop here to pick up the other one. Meanwhile, over here. We've got this tractor uh, that we're going to hop over into because this has the pickups for here. Now, I said we need three bales from here. 
So let's unfold the rear ones. Unfold the front ones. And yeah, so we need uh, two big ones and one small one. The small one is just there. So we'll lower this down. I think we'll try and put the small one on its own on the back, maybe. I think it's going to be a bit of a pain to try and load uh, otherwise. So now... Wow, are the big ones going to fit on here? I hope they are. Ah, uh, no. This is this is tight. This may be a problem. <laughs> we, we Ah, no. Don't do that to me. Do these only take those smaller 130 centimeter bales? Or will this actually line up well enough to take the 150s? Oh, it's going to be tighter. No, I think this only takes the 130s. <gasps> no, that's a big problem. Because I don't have a flatbed on here. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, man. Okay. It does take the 150s. It's not easy to load them up, though. Uh, they are... Yeah. You have to position yourself perfectly. So, we have got to be very, very careful when lining up. We need to be dead straight onto them. And, uh, yeah, we can't afford any mistakes because it just pushes them out the way otherwise. That is so tight. Right. Right down on the floor. Carefully. No. Right. There we go. Try not to lose the other one. But it really is a very, very small margin. There we go. Right, that's got them on. Up. And fold it before those disappear off the end. Oh, wow. Yeah. These do not fit on this. At all. Mental note for future. I think I might have to go and get a... Uh, I might have to go and get a bale trailer. Because that is not secure by any means those are going to pop out at any point and we are not going to be able to do an entire top field of those bales like that just not going to happen so uh yeah gonna have to get a bale trailer and that is going to cut into the profits for this uh maybe i can get a nice cheap one and we'll see if we can stop this rolling by catching it on here. Oh, yeah. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, it's on. Up. And fold. Right. Let's see if this actually completes this contract. Where are these going? Uh, the hay bales. They need to go to the livestock market. Uh, which is the other side of the bridge. Uh, let's head down there. I think it's probably a good thing that our other G-Series is down at the shop because we are going to have to probably pick up a bale trailer to get this finished so i've managed to safely navigate my way over to the animal uh market uh drop oh, not that one drop the front one down that is wildly unstable and unfold it 82 percent transported this is boding very well and done perfect so yeah that initially seems to be a little bit short um actually spot on perfect now this is not gonna work for us transporting six bales down here from that upper field so i am going to leave this here for today and grab a bale trailer next time we'll clear up our mess and we will get everything sorted for now though all that remains 
is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. Special thanks to all my patrons and channel members. Your support is invaluable in making these videos and helping the channel to grow. For more from Virtual Farmer, check out the links below, follow on Twitch to watch live, and for more videos, subscribe and ring that bell. I will see you next time. Goodbye.